so today I'm going to be doing a products that I've used up video and these are always really helpful because you can actually see what people are using and what they're loving so much that they will finish it and repurchase it. So I'll be telling you um, if I'll repurchase them as well in this video. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So first I have the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Creamy Moisture Shower Gel and I got this just because everyone was talking about it and I used it all up just because I didn't want to waste it. Um, I, I'm not too big of a fan of the smell of it. I have the moisturizer too. It's all right, but I just wouldn't repurchase it. Next, I have the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I'm in the color Tahoe, and I really love this foundation. The only thing about it is that I don't really use it in the summertime much because it kind of does give you that glow like it says, and I have oily skin, but I do, I do like the finish of it, and I would repurchase it, but I would probably just use it more in the winter or yeah more in the winter or fall because my skin gets a little bit more dry and it can handle a little bit of dewiness whereas right now I'm strictly like I can't so next I have a moisturizer by Ole Henriksen and it's the vitamin plus mattifying cream and it balances and regulates with aloe and oat flour and the only thing um about this product is it comes in a jar and it's so it's not so hard to use but it's just like I feel like I'm using way too much or it just it's just not as like clean I don't know I really did like the moisturization of it I might purchase it again uh, more in the winter time because like I said this is more of like a wintry kind of product um, but definitely I would recommend all the old Henriksen products because I really like them and I feel like they actually do work they're not super scented or anything so that's a good good thing about that and I have another moisturizer that I got as a little sample and it's actually pretty big for a sample size but it's the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator and this is kind of along the same lines as the Ole Henriksen one um, this one is super super thick this is the only thing that will get rid of like my dry flaky skin when I have it because anything else just kind of it it'll moisturize it for a couple minutes and then that's it you know but this you can like kind of slather on before you go to bed and then you wake up and your face is not all dry and crunchy. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so... Okay, so sticking with um, the moisturizer, I have a Lubriderm Advanced Therapy Lotion. And this um, is supposed to be the one like for extremely dry skin. And I, I would say I have like pretty dry skin like on my body and stuff. Um, which kind of sucks because I feel like as soon as I get out of the shower, like I have to moisturize. I cannot skip it. Um, but I've, I had been using the St. Ives one or no I've been using Jergens and now I like this one a lot better because it's like I don't know it's a lot thicker and it just feels like it's a little bit more moisturizing and Lubriderm is like known for like more like clinical strength moisturizers so definitely would repurchase that and then I've got some hair products um this is the Aveda Damage Remedy Reconstructing Conditioner and I got this a long time ago so it lasted me a long time I think it was around like $28 or something like that so super expensive um and I really love the smell of it and I love how it made my hair feel it wasn't like wowing like it didn't make my hair like something crazy and insane like beautiful soft but it did kind of I felt like it was kind of moisturizing it's, it's a good conditioner I the thing about it I love the smell like it's super herbal and it's like it's super clean like you know those conditioners that are just like so fruity and fragrant that you don't that they just don't smell clean anymore I don't know but yeah, this one really smells clean and for that purpose, I'd probably just get like an Aveda like styling product or something like that because I really like, um, I really like the smell of it and they have a lot of travel sizes so that's a good thing too. Um, another conditioner though that I've used more recently is the Joyco Moisture Recovery Conditioner for Dry Hair. And this one I got at Marshalls for $7.99 but you can get it at Ulta and stuff. Like I, I showed in my haul video, I got the big leader for um, $14.99 and um, I love this I usually like if I'm doing the uh, Moroccan oil treatment it says to follow up with the conditioner and I always use this one because it's like it's really thick it coats your hair it almost feels as thick as the Moroccan oil um, and I just I love it so much it's the only thing that like moisturizes my hair so much that it looks like amazing and super smooth and I love this so I'm definitely repurchased it I already did last oh no I got two more um this is a skincare product and it's by Mario Badescu it's the buffering lotion and this is perfect if you have like cystic acne or like really acne prone skin because you can put this on like even before you get acne or like during it and it clears it up like within a couple days this is the only thing that I found that actually 
helps with like cystic acne and even when I was in Sephora a lady was like wondering what um, to use like she was asking one of the ladies what to use for cystic acne and I told her this and I was like you need to get this and I think she was asking me what the main ingredient was and I don't really know but I think it is sulfur because it says sodium sulfate um, I don't know but the lady was saying that usually sulfur is like a really good acne treatment um, stuff like that so the last thing that I have here is the Fakai Protein RX Daily Protein Fortifier. I got this one at Marshalls too when I went like on a really big hair care buy and stuff when I was buying a lot of new hair care products. And this is like my holy grail hair product. I spray this on like damp hair. I could spray it on dry hair. It doesn't make my hair start to curl up because you know like sometimes if you have curly hair it starts to curl up if you use like a spray, like a water-based spray. But this one's more of like a milky kind of texture and it, it feels so good. It smells really good. It just it doesn't you might not like it if you're if you don't if you're not a fan of like oil kind of it kind of has like an oily feel to it I would say this definitely like is one of the things that when I wash my hair and it feels kind of stripped I can just spray this on and it feels so much better like you don't even understand I will repurchase this product I got it at Marshall's and they don't sell it at Ulta I checked um, but they do have it on the Fakai website and it is $25 and I'd say it's super worth it <laughs> yeah definitely repurchase that so that is it for all the products that I've used up recently. If you have a video like this, you can leave it as a video response down below or just write in the comments if you want to also. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!